play. The shortstop, Francisco Lindor. The pitch. That's outside. And that's how this game gets started. The pitch. That one lifted to left. Rosario moving under this one. Makes the grab one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. Right that there. front shoulder the coming lead. open instead of staying closed. Brand if brand he brand does brand that, brand he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out ball, to left. No. Brandon Nimmo, the next one to hit, oh. takes ball one. No. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, ah. they're looking for one. Two good change good. up call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Up oh, and God. in, ball three. Good plate oh, appearance there. Good. Able to take the walk. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. J.D. Martinez, batting with one down, takes a strike. Sale, multi-time All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. And Sale deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Duvall calls it in, two away. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Fastball for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Sale delivers. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Here's Jerry Kelnick. He's got a pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Alvarez makes the grab and a quick out number one. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. That one drilled left field. Way back there. Hits the fence. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the grab. And yeah, there's two away. Here's Austin Riley. On third base. Austin Riley. That one down the line. The throw to first. Out. And that'll do it. And we're back. New inning ahead. getting started. And it's stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. Sale. Back to work. That one's in there. It's old one. No ball. One strike. And a foul ball. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Swing and a miss. Handcuffed him with that slider. Now one away. And now the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. There's a strike at the knees. And it's 0-1. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Duvall ranging back. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. 
Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Mark Vientos. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Next offering in there for a strike. Oh, and two. Two strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And down on strikes. And it's a three-up three. Bottom half of inning number two. Stepping in, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Severino, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a two-seamer. Here comes a pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Gathers and throws the first. That's one out the bottom of the second. Here's Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. And ball one. And there's the strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Righty to the plate. Oh. Delivers outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Pitch oh, misses yeah. there, and it's a full count. And he All walked four. him. First base. Runner on at first with one gone. Luke Williams. Next up for the Braves. Right. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, one. Next oh, one. offering is downstairs. One ball. Man at one first, strike. one away. Big swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Runner on the goal. Pitch Ball, misses. No, Save no, no. and second Save. with a stolen base. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Here's Sean Murphy. Outfield playing very deep, not yeah. wanting anything over their heads. Murphy. Fought off foul. Two outs and a runner at third. Bottom half of inning number two. And a swing and a miss. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little Whoa. bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. That Whoa. one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. The 2 2 on the way. And a swing and a miss. Out number three. Top half of the third inning. Jeff McNeil stands in. Jeff McNeil. And a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a man on base to start the inning. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. DJ Stewart in the box now. No balls and a strike. Stewart throws right, bats left. 30 years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. And a pitch. That one misses, and a count even one, one and more. one. High fly ball, pretty well.
Hill struck out towards right center. Duvall going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Lindor at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit. So he and that one handled. Off balance feed. There's one. Anderson. That's two. Back at Truist Park. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. The right hander back to work. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Oh. Just missed. Oh. And oh. another ball. Rio. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one is back. And gone. Circle the bases. It's one nothing. So the batting order turns over. Jared Kellner next up for the Braves. There's a strike. That was exciting to see a laid off home run and an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. Swings and misses. And it's 0 and 2. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Vientos whips it to first. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the home run. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. And there's a ball. Two. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. That one is absolutely belted. Forget it. A monster shot to right. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add on. It's 2-0. Here's Matt Olson. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Got the ball. And a strike on the outside edge. One, two. Still only one out here in the inning. Liner snagged it first. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Severino. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Now back, right back. Adam Duvall at the play. Grounded out his first time up. Slider misses outside. Riley leads off first with two down to the inning. That one missing inside. Two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, ah. you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. That missed by a lot. What the? Now three and one. Severino throws to first. He's safe. Three one is on the way. 3-2, two, two out, okay. runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Ah. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. As 
we go to the top of the fourth. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. The pitch. Well, after putting up a nice That's inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't yep. give that other team any hope. One ball, um, just hope that he can get strike. through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a foul straight back. Ball. And another ball. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's ball. on base and slugging, too. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's ah. a threat deep into the count as well. One ball, two strikes. That misses the zone. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Pete Alonso. Grounded out his first time. Alonso. Ball one. No strikes. And a good eye there. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. And that's ball four. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but that's so much for that. Pretty good pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3-0. So two down at the play. Francisco Alvarez. Fastball in for a strike. 0 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never oh, predict no. baseball. Next offering is down low. Fastball for a strike. The Mets down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Eddie Rosario. Line of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Now, Luke Williams, Williams getting ready to hit. He's over one. Oh, and the slider just misses. Line drive, base hit right field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Everything came together for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite oh. field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And here it comes. In the air, out towards right center. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch. Orlando Arcia, the next to hit. He's already over here in this one. Arcia. Boom, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. Severino throws to first, and he's back in on a dive. Williams off the first with two away. 
The shortstop takes the ball. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And the right hander deals. That one finds the zone, and it's two and two. Just missed. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score him. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. So now two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Brew. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Helmet in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Maybe losing command a little bit after the wall. Next pitch, not even close. Flips the corner, and the count one and one. And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Way out front for strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. In the air, left field down the line. Drifts towards it. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Severino kicks deals. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Nimmo makes the catch. And that is that. Back here in Atlanta, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. Sale back to work. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Well, these Mets, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success, but at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. Oh, one there. Next one misses. It's two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but yeah, yeah, now yeah. at least he gets Perfect. a fresh start against a new batter, yeah. but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Vientos oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second ball. time. No strike. And that one ripped to left, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around third. Relay throw home. He's safe as he gets his hand in. He was all over that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And he's already singled in this game. And ball one. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Ball. And another ball. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Man at second. Swing and a miss. And he got him. One away here in the fifth. Now it's DJ Stewart. Fly to right his first time. And a strike in there. One out and a runner at second. Right through there for a strike. At the belt and fires. Way All high. Right. One, two. In the air, right field. 
Duvall on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that's the third out. The right hander back to work. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Not close with that one. And that is ball one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Left field. Nimmo has it sized up. Pulls it in for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Swing and a miss. And strike one. Olson, who gets a chance to play his home games in Truist Park, it's a pretty neutral ballpark. Down, base is empty. And he'll do it again. And he'll two. Goes down looking. Now batter. Third base. So digging in, Austin Riley. That's in there. Going on. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this. But he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. On the ground to third. Toss to Alonzo. And that is the inning. Back at Truist Park, here's Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo goes six feet, three inches, 205 pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in the state of Wyoming. Strike on the inside corner. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And that one almost got him. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Sale ready. Fouls it off. Still one and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. He goes down looking. Now it's J.D. Martinez. Just missed. And a foul ball. And base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Show willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now, Pete Alonso. The 0 1. And fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And a pinch. And oh, down on strikes he goes. Two out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Francisco Alvarez. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That 
Well, it catches the zone. Strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, no. but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Two outs. Right Four, through there two. for a strike. One ball, two strikes. The next pitch misses. Now two and two. With the tying run on at first. And we're the top half of the sixth. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swings here and blasts one left field. Back there. Going gone. He checks that one out to left. It's 3-2. And now the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. One ball. One strike. Swings through that one. Oh, two. Next one, offering two. is outside. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in low two count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Oh, Swing three. and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the right fielder, Adam Duvall. The pitch. Inside corner for a strike. And it's all in one. Swings through that one for strike two. No Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. And there's one down. Eddie Rosario, next up for the Braves. He's over for one. Rosario. Wouldn't one chase out. that time. Base is empty, one away, here in the bottom of the sixth. Now a miss. Well, he put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Next offering is in Two for a strike. Yeah, and there's a the ball. Got him looking. Frozen with a backdoor slider. Here's the second baseman, Luke Williams. One for two. First pitch misses. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Corrals it. And the inning is over. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game, and now it's Mark Vientos. As the lefty gets to work. That one fouled off. And now the lefty. Pitch one, misses two. there. And the count one and two. And that's outside. Bounce to the right side. Throw on to Olsen. 
That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Rosario snags it on the run. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. This one in the air. Williams moving under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Bottom of the seventh. Now, Sean Murphy. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. No, that's, that's outside. Up. One and one. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, you're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Looking to get the tying run on base. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Ripped to short. Fires across the Out. diamond. And they get the leadoff no, hitter in the seven. And the batter will be the shortstop, Orlando, Orlando Arcia. He's Orlando. already homered in this game. Ball oh, one no. there. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. So the lineup flips over. Here's the center fielder, Jared Kellner. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Oh, one. Yeah, big swing and a miss. More and more guys oh, are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close ball. eye on this approach. Next pitch is downstairs. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at-bat alive. Rip towards third. The Intels whips out. it to first. What a... Jesse no, Chavez no, comes on now. No, Just no, trying no, to keep no, this no, one close no, here. No, and no, this no, is where a bullpen no, can no, give no, their players a chance to fight back into the game. And he deals. Lindor oh. stands in here, leaves one that ball. one off the no, inside. No, no. Next Ball offering two. is downstairs. Two open down. And another ball. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Ball can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Righty delivers. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. He swings and fouls one off. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Whoa. And downstairs. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and stays alive. 
ball. And it's even up. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Next pitch is outside. Really good okay. take, especially with two strikes. Payoff pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Nice grab on the run. Two down. And Martinez. One for three. Ouch, that one drilled him. And they get the out after the ricochet. That's out number three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Adam Adovino. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, one run game, Marcelo Zuna. Now the plate, and they've got the no doubles defense set up. Outfielders playing deep, and fielders guarding the lines. The pitch. And that is in for a strike. It's 0 1. Some hitters are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. Swing and a miss. 0 2 down. No ball. Two strikes. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here is Matt Olsen. Sometimes you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Ball. Next pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. Good eye in that spot. There's a swing and a miss. Well, when those hitters count two sometimes ball. can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better ah. pitch to hit. Got him. Two ball. Go down to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. Close, but ball. called a ball. And it's one to no. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Line to left. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. Nimmo quickly gets it back in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Man in scoring position with two away. And next for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Trying to hold a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Yep. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner holds. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now into the ball game on defense, Eli White. He's the new third baseman. Well, one run game. Now at the plate, Pete Alonso. And a pitch. Holmes. In his rookie season, he features a four seam fastball, a cutter, and he works in a changeup. Right through there for a strike. One, two. Pitch misses, and it's two and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And the righty deals. 
Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Inside just missed. Full count. Smoked on the ground a second. Fires over to first. Out. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get now the out. out. The now out. here is Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. In there and it's own one. There's a strike. Oh, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, oh. he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Oh. Spanned a miss, and he struck him out. Out number two. Two oh. outs, bases empty. Tyrone Taylor will hit next. A strikeout and a walk. Wouldn't chase that time. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. That's a little bit low. One run game here at the top of the ninth. That one spoiled, and they count now two and one. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Makes the catch inning over. Now, and on the mound, the closer, Edwin Diaz. Now Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock Edwin. this one down and get out of here with the W. Here comes a pitch. Rosario in the box now. Takes strike one. And a swing and a miss there. No ball. Two strikes. One run game, bottom nine. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Left hand batter waits. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. One out. Now it's the second baseman, Luke Williams. The second baseman. First pitch, and he just misses. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. That one in triple digits. One, one. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute yeah. gas these days. I never would have had a chance. One down, base is empty. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So here's Murphy now. 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 Yeah. Over three. A fly out of ground out and a strikeout. Murphy. Right through there for a strike. A one-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. This one popped up. McNeil drifts towards it. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where... Each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to 